to address a return code equals 16 condition in SAR T-Check in CA View. This video will present information regarding correcting a CA View database in the event of a return code equals 16 condition in program SAR T-Check. When a return code of 16, RC equals 16, is received in a run of SAR T-Check, that is an indication that one of the CA View primary or duplex tapes has been prematurely uncatalogued. Per the SAR init parameter EXPDT equals 99000, expiration date equals 99000, View continues ownership of its tapes, created in a View standard backup SAR STC or in SAR pack, until all of the reports on the tape have expired and there is no more need for any occurrences of a backup of the ViewMaster index determined by SAR init parameter NGENI. When a tape is deemed as expired, after a standard backup, when retentions of the database's reports have been evaluated, VIEW sends a message to MVS to uncatalog and scratch the primary tape and the duplex tape, if one exists. A tape can be prematurely uncatalogued due to the following. A tape has been written over by another application. A tape was being written to and either the VIEW started task or SAR pack job abended and the tape management system has not been instructed to retain any tapes that are output from any abended view procedure. If only a duplex tape was lost and the primary tape still exists, you can run a SAR TCP copy to recreate the duplex tape from the primary. Below is sample JCL. If only a primary tape was lost and the duplex tape still exists, you can run a SAR TCP copy to recreate the primary tape from the duplex tape. Below is sample JCL. Note, the above JCL is different from the JCL previously presented in that the tape in is the duplex tape with node of SAR DPLX and the tape out is the primary tape with node of SAR tape. If both the primary and duplex tapes have been lost and if you create a disaster recovery tape you have SAR init parameter DR tape equals yes. Determine what DR tape or tapes are associated with the primary tape in question by running SAR batch list ID equals asterisk gen equals asterisk, noting the T seq and DR seq columns which identify the tape sequence number. T seq n n n n n equates to dataset name view dot db one dot SAR tape dot t00 n n n n n dr seek n n n n n equates to dataset name view dot db1 dot sar drtp dot t00 n n n n n change sar init parm to dr tape equals active recycle sar stc run sar tdrt load to load all reports from the dr tapes to disk Change SAR init parm to DR tape equals yes. Recycle SAR STC. Run SAR TSLST creating a CTL cards file. Ensure that all entries in the CTL cards file contain SAR batch transaction, change ID, backup equals off. Run SAR batch with the CTL cards as input. At the next few standard backup, all of the reports affected by a change transaction will show a location of disk, will get backed up again, and will show a new tape as their primary and duplex. Since all of the reports will be on the new tape, the old tape will no longer be needed and will be expired. If you do not create a disaster recovery tape, SAR init DR tape equals no, you must clean up the view master index using the following. Run SAR TSLST creating a CTL cards file and ensure that all entries in the CTL cards file contain SAR batch transaction delete ID or change ID backup equals off. Run SAR batch with the CTL cards as input. At the next few standard backup the entries in the master index for all of the reports that are only on the tape will be deleted and the reports from the tape that are on disk will be backed up on the current backup tape. 
the tape that the reports were on will be expired. This presentation outlined procedures to use to address a return code equal 16 condition in the program SAR T check. Since a view DR tape, SAR init DR tape equals yes, enables an opportunity to recover possibly lost reports, it is strongly suggested that a DR tape be created in order to reduce the risk of data loss.